with Falcon hockey coach Joe Cranston. And Joe, the Falcons will open up their 2011-12 season this weekend at Hunterina, hosting Adrian College on Saturday and Sunday. Can you tell us a little bit about the Falcons this year? Well, we're definitely a brand new team, a lot of new faces. You know, we lost some good players, graduated quite a few seniors. I think maybe our first or second largest recruiting, or I mean senior class that we graduated, you know, and, and Michelle and Ez in there too. So we lost some really good players. Um, you know, but on the other hand, on the other side, we, we brought in some really good players that are looking good this year. We have some young kids that are going to have a big impact right away, I think, especially in scoring. Um, a lot of times it takes freshmen quite a while to score, and, and I, I don't think that's going to be the case this year with some of them. I'm sure we'll with some, but I really think we're going to have a little more offensive team this year. Um, our goals against might be a little higher. We're a little younger back on D, but uh, the thing I really like this year is every year I talk about we have more depth and more depth, but this year we, we definitely have more depth, in it, and it isn't just numbers, it's quality. Uh, our forwards, you know, we have 14 forwards. They all can play. Um, we're confident in every one of them. And with our D, we have seven defensemen that can play a regular shift. So, um, you know, as long as everybody's healthy, we're in great shape there. Goaltending, we have all three goalies back. Uh, you know, I look at uh, Keekley and Deerdorf. Both of them have played in the NCAA, you know, national tournament games. Um, you know, Deerdorf played in the in the championship game of the O'Brien Cup a couple of years ago. So those goalies are used to big games, and so I think you know that's a big bonus for us. And and to have Jenna Johnson here as a goalie coach, I have somebody in here working every day with the goalies. I think that's going to be a plus for us. Um, so you know, I think uh, overall it's probably the most depth we've ever had. But but again, it's uh, we'll see what happens this weekend. It's just we definitely have a. a a whole new look, a whole new feel, a lot of new faces, um, but uh, everybody's working hard, and so far it looks pretty good. Joey, you're going to be um, the, the NCHA this year. Obviously, obviously a very good league. Could, could talk about how you think the league will go. Well, you know, you never really know, but you know, you look at the the coaches poll and and uh, some of those things, and I don't know how much. I put into that, but really when you look at uh, Adrian, they're going to be a good team. They've kind of had our number. Um, you know, we're, we're about a 500 team against them the last three years, and, and they've done a really good job against us, so it's a tough matchup, and uh, that'll be a tough game. Two tough games this weekend. You know, I look for Superior to be tough. They lost a tough one early, but it seems like they always do, and they bounce back, and they'll be a good team. And and from there, I really have no idea, you know, but uh, those, I think, will be the toughest two teams. Um, but, uh, you know, every year, the league's up and down a little bit. Uh, Concordia has a lot of freshmen this year, but overall, the freshmen coming in to our program, I can say, are usually better every single year. And if you would have asked me 13 years ago if that'd be happening 13 years from now, I never would have thought that. I would have thought it would have peaked seven or eight years into it. But here we are, our freshmen coming in now are still better than, a lot better than the freshmen we were bringing in three, four years ago. So, you know, if that holds true in some other programs, just every year our league gets, gets better. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll be ready to go this weekend and, you know, stay on top of the league throughout the season. Joe, thanks for your time. We'll talk to you next week, and good luck to the Falcons.